The Brady Bunch, one of the most beloved TV shows of the 1970s, presented an idealized image of a blended family. But there were stories behind the scenes that contrasted with the wholesome image presented on screen. Join us as Facts First presents Scandalous Secrets You Never Knew About the Brady Bunch. Barry Williams and Florence Henderson's Date Barry Williams, of course, portrayed Greg Brady, the eldest of the Brady boys. Florence Henderson played Carol Brady, and Carol and Greg shared a typical mother-son relationship. The relationship was wholesome, reinforcing the show's family-friendly image. In his autobiography, Growing Up Brady, Barry Williams wrote about his immense crush on Florence Henderson. Given the age difference, he was 15 and she was 36 when the show began, such feelings might seem unexpected. But Barry was experiencing adolescence in the unique environment of a TV set, surrounded by adults, and Florence was a charming, beautiful, and kind figure. Barry mentioned in various interviews and in his book that he mustered the courage to ask Florence out, and to his surprise, she agreed. The date was more of a casual dinner, and Florence Henderson in later interviews has often downplayed its romantic aspect. Instead, she framed it as an act of kindness towards a young co-star, giving him an opportunity to spend time with her outside of work and discuss his feelings and experiences. While the dinner was innocent and both parties have clarified that nothing romantic transpired beyond that, the very revelation was a shock to fans when Barry's book was released. Both Barry and Florence maintained a friendly relationship throughout their lives. But it has remained an enduring anecdote, a testament to the public's fascination with the interplay between on-screen stories and off-screen realities. Barry and Maureen Barry Williams and Maureen McCormick are best known for their roles as the eldest siblings, Greg and Marcia. While their on-screen relationship depicted the typical ups and downs of sibling dynamics, behind the scenes, the two young actors developed a bond that at times blurred the lines between friendship and romance, especially considering the unique environment in which they were growing up. Their closeness in age, combined with the long hours they spent together on set, naturally fostered a close friendship. As the series progressed, their camaraderie began to take on a romantic hue. The two began spending more time together off-set, and according to accounts shared in their respective memoirs, they experienced moments of romantic attraction. A particular event that stands out in the chronicle of their relationship is their trip to the beach, often described by Barry as a date. The outing was filled with the typical awkwardness and sweetness that define teenage romances. And there were moments on set where their personal feelings for each other influenced their performances. One such instance was their on-screen kiss during an episode in Hawaii. Both actors have remarked on how the real-life chemistry they shared was evident in their on-screen interactions. As is common with many youthful romances, their relationship was marked by its fleeting nature. While they share genuine feelings for a time, the romantic aspect of their bond didn't last beyond the show's production years. Fans always speculated about the nature of their relationship, fueled by tabloid reports and rumors. The speculations were confirmed when Barry released his autobiography, Growing Up Brady, where he spoke candidly about his feelings and experiences with Maureen. She similarly shared her perspective in her memoir, Here's the Story, Surviving Marsha Brady and Finding My True Voice. Robert Reed's Sexuality Robert Reed, who brilliantly portrayed Mike Brady, the endearing patriarch, was a classically trained actor with a passion for his craft. While he's fondly remembered for his role as a loving father and a husband on one of America's most beloved sitcoms, off-camera he grappled with a deeply personal secret, his homosexuality. The 1960s and 70s were vastly different from today in terms of societal acceptance of LGBTQ plus identities. Homosexuality was stigmatized, and coming out could have severe personal and professional repercussions. Hollywood wasn't immune to this kind of prejudice. Actors who were known or suspected to be gay often faced discrimination. As such, Reed kept his sexuality a closely guarded secret. While he never publicly came out during his lifetime, those close to him, including some cast members, were aware or had inklings about his sexuality. Florence Henderson once mentioned in interviews that she and Reed shared a close friendship, and he confided in her about his struggles with his sexual orientation. Reed's need for privacy was so profound that even when he was diagnosed with HIV, 
and later succumbed to complications related to the virus in 1992, the initial statements about his death omitted any mention of his HIV status. Reed's Dislike of the Writing Robert Reed's portrayal of Mike Brady is synonymous with the loving, understanding father figure. But behind the scenes, Reed often found himself at odds with the show's direction, particularly with its creator and producer, Sherwood Schwartz. His classical training and his aspirations for a career in serious drama sometimes clashed with the sitcom's light-hearted and occasionally slapstick scripts. Having studied at London's Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, and having had experiences with Shakespearean roles. He had an appreciation for drama and realism, which sometimes was at odds with The Brady Bunch, a sitcom that often delved into zany and implausible situations. Reed frequently voiced his displeasure about the show's scripts. He felt many episodes were unrealistic and didn't reflect the genuine challenges and issues that blended families face. His discontent was so pronounced, he often would send lengthy memos to Schwartz, detailing his concerns and suggestions for improving the scripts. These memos were not always well received. One of the most notable points of contention between Reed and Schwartz was the show's final episode, The Hairbrained Scheme. In the episode, Bobby Brady sells hair tonic, which turns Greg's hair orange just days before graduation. Reed felt the plot was so ridiculous, he refused to appear in the episode. So, Schwartz, unwilling to bend to Reed's demands, wrote him out of the show for that episode. Reed's dissatisfaction reached a point where he occasionally threatened to leave the show altogether. His deep care for the young cast members, whom he had mentored and grown close to, played a significant role in his decision to stay. Maureen's Addiction Issues One of the most significant struggles in Maureen's life has been her battle with addiction a topic she has openly discussed in interviews and in her memoir in hopes of shedding light on the issue and helping others. McCormick's initial experiences with drugs began early, during the peak of the Brady Bunch fame. The pressures of the industry, combined with the typical rebelliousness and curiosity of adolescence, led her to experiment with drugs. As she transitioned from a teen star to an adult in Hollywood, her casual drug use turned more serious. She developed addictions to cocaine and quaaludes, which had devastating impacts on her personal and professional life. She's admitted that her drug use became so rampant, she often traded sex for drugs. She missed auditions, was late to set, and her overall reliability as an actress was questioned. Through therapy, support from loved ones, and her determination, she embarked on the difficult journey of recovery. Now it's time to hear from you. Which was the most surprising Brady Bunch fact to learn? Let us know in the comments section below.